Hello and welcome back to Kitty Place Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. So last time we helped this nice woman to find her love, who's um, actually a rogue. And now we're heading to Balmora to finally figure out what weird reasons there were why we were let go from prison. We already acquired some nice uh, clothing of taste. And we're going to join the Mages Guild, that much I know. Because we're going to be a mage. And thus I'm already sampling the local plants. The local fauna, that is. So I have ingredients for doing alchemy. And there we go, we we grew a slightly better athlete just because we were walking so much. Or running, basically. Because if we were just walking, we would be walking like this. And nobody wants that. We're already taking thousands of episodes as it is, right? This sounded like a silk strider. Could be that we're pretty close. Oh no, look, look up ahead. There's weird things in the mountain. This usually says that we are, um, that this is a dwarven ruin. Maybe we're also, I'm always curious about the dwarven ruins. They, I love all this, I, I love exploration. There's another rat. No, 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 we're a mage. Um, how did you? I don't know how you set the. Let me real quick look into the to the settings controls. How you set the quick slots, quick menu? There it was F1. Yes. So I want to have the iron dagger at one, the magic, our spark at two. The healing at three, magic, and the shield at four. So we're throwing a shield, the claws, that's awesome, and the spark. Of course, we're killing it with kindness, uh, sparks. Failed. Ah, I know why. Because our fatigue is low from running. That was a thing back back then. Okay, let's heal ourselves. Not enough magicka. Too bad. Well, we're still learning. Uh, learning by self-study is not that efficient. Look at that, there is another fort. I think the the description of the route mentioned another fort that we'll be passing. Let's check the signpost where we are. Moonmoth, Fort Moonmoth. And I see the first house of Belmora. For those of you who've played the game already, you might notice that these houses are not in the regular game. It's because I've installed a mod that adds some dummy houses that makes Bulmara look a bit bitter, a bit bigger. So these houses we can't actually, we can neither get into nor actually get to, but they make look Bulmara more like the city, and I kind of like that. I was actually looking for, I had uh, I had a different mod 
which did a complete overhaul for Bon Balmora, even adding like a big bathhouse and all that. But I couldn't find it, um, and I played Morrowind ages ago, so it might even be lost to the internet, even though my, uh, you, uh, one, say, one says that the internet never forgets. The thing is, you need to find what the internet never forgets, so yeah. I know that back then I played Morrowind with like 4 gigabytes of mods, now it's one point something. Here we are, this must be Balmora. Now let's look around a bit. The prey approaches. Hmm? Oh, you're talking about yourself, okay. This looks like a trader symbol. Oh yeah, a pawnbroker. Hmm, maybe he has got interesting things to sell. Hello, lady. Oh, you want to... You want to, to tell us the latest rumors? The Legion champion Larry Sparrow over at Moom of Legion Ford has sworn an oath to stop corruption. He hasn't, much, hasn't had much luck going through official channels, the syndicates have got their people covered and coming and going. He'll never get anywhere working through the system. He's going to have to find someone who can, can get him around the system, or through the system, like straight and hard through the system. Okay. I'm not that strong yet, but I might be that someone at some point in time. But first, let's see what you have to offer. Well, she has some books. And she some supplies that we might need later, but first I'm going to check if she has some um, healing potions or magicka potions, doesn't look like it. But she has an expensive ring which I'm simply going to buy off of her, thank you, and an amulet, which we can later enchant. And already were, where, that's, thank you so much, I'm going to wear these right away even though we can't see it in our screen. It's raining. Ah. Not very pleasant. Oh, clothing store. We already have an outfit. Ravir. Oh, that sounds like a fellow Khajiit. Let's have a look inside. Ah, finally some food. Oh, it's nice no to see a fellow sleep. Fellow face. Ravir knows why you are here. You want to buy Ravir's famous Cedric weapons. Sounds a bit Russian, right? It's hard for me to make the kitty accent that they do. Cedric weapons? What? You say these are not Cedric weapons? No, you are right, but Ravir is no liar. When you wish it, Ravir's friend, demon and devil weapons, will be as sharp as fine Cedric and the uh, as light as an edge air sack. The magic lasts a short time, but long enough to punch through the toughest armor. Ravir buys them direct from the Talvani. You will not find any cheaper in all Balmora. Let's see. I think he's talking about these here, which have like Bound Dagger for 60 points on self, which is uh, like a magical weapon that you can make appear. Well, thank you. Um, by the way, where is this south wall place that, uh, that I've been told to go to go there and I don't know where it is? Oh, south wall is a working class corner club in Balmora, east of Oda River on the south end of Labor Street, owned by Bacola Clausius. Actually, the, the way that the grammar works makes me also think like it's supposed to be kind of Russian to English. Like a Russian that learned English, which is a bit racist to be honest. Bacola Clausius is the owner and proprietor of Southwall, a working class Balmora corner club east of the Odai River. Oh, thank you. So, east of the Odai River. Let's check. So, this is east, and the Odai River is over here. Um, I mean just we just entered Balmora 
crossing it. Yeah, I'm going to real quick show you. Yeah, there is the river. And we are east of the river, so it must be somewhere around here. Council Club. Fresh game. Lucky Lockup. There I was hoping that we already had found the right place. So on this side. Okay, these clearly are the mages and fighters guild. Armorer. Not interesting. A bookseller. Neat. We're going to be good friends with them. Okay, I need to walk up to the door. Eight plates. That sounds tasty. Oh, there is another door here. The razor hole. This is the place that we will go to later. Oh, it looks like the market district. Who's there? Manner of some people. Okay, to, to be honest, I always joined the house Lalu. And um, I want to join one of the other houses this time. Not a lot of pretty ladies around here. No. Marano Manor. Morak Tong Guild. Whoever those are. I think this is also not the right house. Lalo Manor. I think the right houses have these these um, things outside. A fine cloth here, an alchemist. Well, well. South Wall Corner Club, east of the river. Oh, I think I'm being an idiot. It said east of the river, and on a normal map, where north is on the top of the map, east is on the right hand side, not on the left hand side. So yeah, we were sorry, we were on the wrong side of the river. Well, let's take a look. This you know, house here seems to have this little thing dangling around. Got this flag had one. Oh, there is, there is more over here. Ah, the South Wall Corner Club. There we go. Yeah. As uh, opposed to um, the later games, this game doesn't have like a compass that shows you where you need to go. You need to actually find out where stuff is. So, um, hello man. I'm looking for Don't someone. Don't press your luck. You're on your honor. Yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt, um, or to disturb you. So, your name is Nighty, and you're new here to Balmora. Well, my name is Sotilde, and I don't mind answering questions. She sounded different before. I have nothing else on my mind right now, and if I start to bore you about Morrowind lore, just let me know. Oh, you're not boring me about Morrowind lore. Actually, I want to know a little bit about this, this place. There's a secret cult called the Sixth House. And they're killing Imperial citizens. Oh, really? That's awful. Say, where can I find a certain Bacola Clotius? Bacola Clotius? Well, he's the owner. He must be around here somewhere. Ah, oh, thank you. And, um, where can I find a, cer a certain Chaos Cassatus? That old sugar tooth? I'm not sure where he's living now, but ask Bacola Clotius, the owner. He'll know. Thank you very much for your help and goodbye. I really don't have time for this, so make it quick. Yeah, you don't like me. Myself. Oh, hello. What Kajit do for you? I was hoping we could uh, train a bit. Um, oh, you want me to join the thief skill just as the other girl wanted? Well, you know what? I'm I'm considering it. I'm right now just got out of prison I kind of want to not just right get back in you know can you still help me out 
Oh, you can't help me if I'm not a member of a thieves guild. Okay. Well, I will come back if I want to join. Seems like the thieves guild is kind of official because uh, she asks anyone who just enters, "Hey, do you want to join the thieves guild?" Chill, Raniel. scent is unfamiliar. I hope it's nice, though. Can you tell me a little advice? Alchemists are easy targets for inexperienced thieves. They have far too many ingredients for them to keep an eye on all of them all of the time. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm an alchemist. Um, can you train me in something? Yes, acrobatic security and sneak. But I don't have the gold for that. Uh, what can you sell me? Ooh, lockpicks. Neat. So you must be with these... You must be with the Thieves Guild, right? Thank you for, for uh, enabling me to... to already um, barter with you without being a member. Only he stands there. Greetings, citizen. I'm only he stands there. This town is Belmora, council seat of House Lalu. We're loyal citizens of the Empire and proud of it. Well, most of us anyway. So, are you looking for someone in particular? Are you looking for services? Is there some specific place you'd like to visit? Would you like me to tell you about my trade? Well, what is your trade? I'm a healer. I've sworn solemn oaths in the College of Restoration to heal the afflicted and cure the diseased. But I've also studied both the unarmed and unarmored martial arts of the Khajiit and the light armored and blunt weapon styles of the Imperial West, both for self-defense and for disabling or killing dangerous opponents. I sell spells. And I'm a spellmaker who creates spells to your specifications. I can also teach you in my skills for a fee. Well, how about... Uh, how about that teaching? But what? I don't offer any services. Who, who told you that? Y you just did yourself. Well, uh, what about the spells then? You don't even want to sell me your spells and... Well, why did you... Ah, uh, never mind. This said lizard people. Ratchet Ranier, lizard people are weird. Ah, oh, Fenriel. I bet you know where, where the owner is. Oh, he must be around somewhere. Well, what can you train me? Mercantile and speed trip. Well, speed. Mercantile skills, the art of buying low and selling high. This skill guarantees low up initial prices. Ah, this is a moment. Those skilled in speechcraft influence others by admiring, intimidating, and taunting them. Listeners are more willing to divulge information or to entrust important tasks to the skilled speaker. I think I should learn speechcraft at some point. Yes, friend. Go ahead, stranger. Tapius S. Trekus nothing to offer. Over there. That's me. Lizard people. Weird folk. Let's try the upstairs. Oh, there he is. The Cola Clausius. Uh, hi. My name's Nighty. I'm looking for uh, Chaos Casades. And I've been told that you could tell me where he is. Old Chaos rents a little bed and basket just up the hill on the north edge, north edge of town. Get out the front door, not the upper door to the terrace, then right up the stairs. Then left at the top of the stairs and down to the end of the street. Out the front door, right up the stairs, left at the top of the stairs, down the end of the street. Mm -hmm. This must be the front door, right? Yes. Ah, up the stairs. Left. And I think we left the illegal, illegal substances back in <laughs> Saidanin. Luckily, in this game, nobody will just take them. And at the end of the street, there we are. Chaos Casada's house. Uh, sir, you're not wearing any shirt. What? Yes? Uh, what? Yes, I'm Chaos Casadas, but 
What do you mean you were told to report to Kiesk status? What are you talking about? Well, I, I don't know. I've got these these weird things. I've got these things for you, this letter and stuff. Maybe this explains to you what it means. So, you say your name is Nighty and you've been told to report to me and deliver a package. Perhaps you'll let me look at it. Uh, yeah, of course. Yes, very interesting. So, it says here that the Emperor wants me to make you a novice in the blades. And that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to follow my orders, Nighty? Uh, guess so. Good. Welcome to the service, novice Nighty. Now you belong to the blades. We're the Emperor's eyes and ears in the provinces. You can use my bed if you need to rest, but leave my personal stuff alone unless I say otherwise. If you like, you can improve your modest skills with your blades trainers now. Or, if you're in, in a hurry, I can give you orders right away. But don't forget to visit the blades trainers. Uh, thank you. Uh, the offer of the bed is actually pretty... Um, I don't need to share the bed with you, right? I hope I hope you can figure out some kind of sleep cycle. Um, about the blades trainers, um, who are they? Oh, the blades agents offer training. Not free, of course, but cheap for a fellow agent. Look for Earthling, Tier Malin, and Nine Tones here in Balmora. In Caldera, see Surun, Leorian, Inaldrun, Gildan, Sjorvar, Horsemouth. Gild see, Gildan, Siova Horsemouth lives in the hut west of Aldrun, and Ilone, the scout, can be found at a real straight house inside Ani. Ah, I already, f I already found Ilone. She told me about uh, several of the cities here. But about the blades, we're spies. We're the Emperor's hidden eyes and ears in the provinces. We watch the Emperor's enemies. We look for opportunities, we make reports, and... When the Emperor commands, we obey. But we're only one of the many guilds and factions in Morrowind. You shouldn't know a little about Morrowind politics before you get involved with any of these other groups. But what other guilds and factions are there? Groups favoring Imperial interests are the Blades, the Imperial Cult, the Imperial Legion, the Fighters Guild, the Majors Guild, and the Thieves Guild. Groups favoring native Dunmer interests are House Red Urn, Red House Hlalu, and House Telvanni, the Temple, the Morak Tong, the Kamona Tong, and the Ashlanders. And yeah, I'm now going to check out all of these. So, what's the Imperial Cult then? The Imperial Cult worships the Nine Divines. The Adra, Akatosh, Dibella, Arke, Zenithar, Mara, Stendar, Kinnereth, and Julianius, and Tiber Septim, founder and patron of the Empire. In Morrowind, it's partly maintaining the faith for outlanders like us, and partly a missionary cult, bringing enlightenment to the heathen Dunmer. You can see some Samutus Vunis at Fort Moomoth join, but you have to go to Ebenhard if you want to become a lay servant. How about the Imperial Legion then? The Imperial Legion has several fort garrisons here on Varnfell. The tower ranks handle law enforce uh, the lower ranks handle law enforcement, escorts, rescues, dangerous predators, diseased and blighted beasts, and so forth. Only one fort except recruits, Fort Darius in Gnesis. Gnesis is a frontier outpost, isolated, a little rough, but good experience. If you're interested, see General Darius in Gnesis. Hmm. Well what about the fighter skill? A fighter skill is a professional organization chartered by the Emperor to regulate the hiring and training of mercenaries. Training, goods and services are cheaper for members, and the guild stewards know where to find work. You'll have to start your service with Aedes Fireeye, the Balmora guild steward. She's new, and I don't know her well. Perseus Mercius, the Aldrun guild steward, I know and trust, but he only handles higher ranking assignments. Hmm. I think I'm rather interested in the Mages Guild. It's a guild for the Arcane Arts, and it's where you go to find wizards for hire. Training, goods and services are cheaper for members, and the guild stewards know where to find work. If you want to be a wizard, yes, join and work your way up the ranks. The Mages Guild here is better bet than the Fighters Guild. The Mages Guild here is better bet than the Fighters Guild. Hmm. 
Rennes Ethris is the guild steward, so talk to her if you want to join up. She's got a chip on her shoulder, but her apprentice, Ajira, seems okay for a Khajiit. Okay for a Khajiit? You know that I am... No. What about the Thieves' Guild? In the rest of the Empire, the Thieves' Guild is a more or less organized group of local criminal syndicates governing illegal trade in their communities. Here in Morrowind, the Thieves' Guild is the newcomer. The established local crime lords are called the Kimona Tong. The Thieves' Guild doesn't advertise, partly because to avoid the law and partly to avoid the Kimona Tong, who have sworn to destroy the abstract Thieves' Guild. Sugarlip Sabazi over at the South Wall it is the local guild boss. So what about the other groups? What about the houses? Well, House Redoran is one of the three Dunmer great houses on Varnfeld. Very serious and honorable bunch. It's difficult for an outlander to join and rise in their ranks, but the great houses are where the power lies in Morrowind. Talk to Redoran counselors if you want to become a Redoran retainer. House Lalu is one of the three... Yeah. House Lalu are lawyer supporters of the Empire, open-minded in religious and cultural matters, and greedy and ambitious in the best imperial tradition. It's difficult to rise in their ranks, but the house... Okay, this is, this is basically the same text, so I'm going to skip it. How about Talvani? Their nobles are thousand-year-old wizards. Talvani are supposed to hate politics, foreigners, and just about everything else, but the Vardenfeld Talvani are apparently more ambitious and adventurous than most. I don't know much about them, but they do hire Western mercenaries, and some even rise to higher ranks. Talk to the councillors, blah blah blah. What about this temple? The Tribunal Temple is the native religion. They worship three god kings, Almalexia, Sothasil, and Vivek, who are known together as the Tribunal. Tribunal? We usually just call it the Temple. They are narrow-minded and superstitious, but I find a lot to admire, particularly their concern for the poor. They accept outlanders as members, but few outlanders join except for the services. Talk to Feldrello Sadri at the Balmora Temple if you're thinking about joining. To be honest, I am thinking about joining. What are these Moraktong? The Moraktong is a guild of executioners and assassins, completely legal and guided by a strict code of conduct. It's an ancient Dunmer society, steeped in tradition, but I know and respect a few Westerners who belong to the Morik Tong. They are nothing like the Dark Brotherhood. I have no idea how to join them. The Kamona Tong, then? The Kamona Tong is Morrowind's native criminal syndicate. They are tough and ruthless, and have connections to the higher ranks of House Lalu. The Kamona Tong compete directly with the Thieves' Guild for control of illegal trade, and Kamonatong will not tol tolerate competition. Compared with the Kamonatong, the Thieves' Guild is relatively decent and honorable, certainly less brutal. They don't accept outlanders as members. Forget about it. And the last one... I can't scroll back up. So I need to... Where are the Ashlanders, right? I don't know much about the Ashlanders. Most people say they are murderous savages, but most people are idiots. I know they hate their settled Dunmer cousins almost as much as they hate Westerners, but they must be tough to live in the Ashlands. I don't think Outlanders can become members of the tribes. I don't know why anyone would want so. So from hearing all of this, I have decided to become member of House Red Oren. the Mages Guild, and maybe the Thieves Guild, and the Temple. Well, you were talking about orders, what kind of orders do you have? First thing, Pilgrim, you're new, and you look it. Here's 200 tricks. Go get yourself a decent weapon, or armor, or a spell, and second thing, you need to cover identity. Around here, freelance adventurer is a common profession. Sign on with Fighter's Guild or Mage's Guild or Imperial Cult or Imperial Legion. Advance in the ranks, gain skill and experience, or go out on your own, look for freelance work or trouble. Then, when you're ready, come back and I'll have orders for you. Well, that's neat. So basically, it tells us to go ahead, go ahead and um, explore the lands. Well, 
Let's have a little nap until we're healed. And let's then end this episode after having completed the first part of the main quest. We found our <coughs> master, Chaos Cassatis, and got the official order to join the guilds. And I think, since I'm playing a mage, the next thing I'm going to do is join the mages guild. Thank you for watching. And if you liked the video, consider leaving a thumbs up. This is actually the first time I said this. Of course, this this applies to every video. So if you like more than this video, just go back and just apply the thumbs up to all of them. Um, I'm also happy about comments, actually, because, um, well, you can tell me more than just a thumbs up or a thumbs down in the comments. And if you want to know when the latest episode comes out, just either subscribe and ring the bell, or just go and um, watch me on Twitter, which is at Markus Palze, which is my real name. Yeah, exactly. I'm telling you my real name here. Or just hit me up on... Um, really. <laughs> Mastodon is the name of the altern Twitter alternative. Uh, there I am, Markus Palzer at uelfte dot club. -E yes, since I'm German, there is an umlaut which has been changed to uye for the internet, and my full name is spelled M A R K U S P A L C E R. I think I'm just going to link all of that in the video description. Makes it way easier. I'm going to stop recording for now, for today, because um, I'm going to have a role-playing session that I'm... I might have a role-playing session that I'm mastering later. I'm definitely going to talk to the role-playing mates. And I'm going to see you, or you're going to see me, ba basically, in a couple of days determined by the dice. Bye-bye!